What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're looking at Startup Panic. A game where you have your own company that you're starting on up. It kind of reminds me of like all of those random games, kind of like Game Dev Life or something like that. That sort of thing. Let's try it on out. Our name is Vicky Wright. I don't think Vicky's company is a good name. Can I change my picture? We can't change our picture. Alright. So our character's name will be Vicky Vance. And then our company will be Vance Refrigeration. Is there a D in refrigeration? Hmm. I don't type the word refrigeration very often. Hmm. Hmm. This is a confusing moment. I don't know how I feel. Well, a cursory look at Google. Uh, that seems right, so I guess that's just what I'll go with. And if I look like an idiot today, I guess I'll... Be honest. How often do you type out or spell the word refrigeration? Be honest. It's Clippy! Hi there, I'm happy to see you. I know you probably recognize me from my previous work, but hey, there's no harm in doing an introduction. My name is Snip. James Snip. These past few years I've been working for a big shiny corporate company, and now they've replaced me with a younger, brighter, sexier female named Cor- Uh, it's probably best not to mention her name. Anyways, now I'm working freelance, helping new startups achieve their dream. Now that I'm working freelance, uh, do I have to pay you? It's in my principles that I don't take a penny from my clients, even though coffee every now and again would be great. I have an agreement with the game developers stating that I will provide a free service for startups in exchange for a place in the game. But if you think my face is too boring, you can always disable the tutorial so you don't see me as often. Okay. Now that you've chosen a name for the startup, that's good, but a name alone won't make people use your app. You need to develop a feature to attract people to your app. Click the feature button in the left panel. Alright. Let's create a new feature. Yes, a new feature. Which feature do we want to develop? So we pay attention to the number of recommended numbers of employee needed. For some features, it is simple enough to be developed by one person. Others will need more. Gotcha. So a landing page. Gotcha. So it's the page where the visitor arrives and learns about the product. It's the face of your startup. Execute it well, and it could be love at first sight for your users, even if someone eventually fires for divorce. Execute it poorly, and your startup's face will have lots of pimples that scare away visitors before they try your product. Gotcha. So we got to choose an employee for this. Uh, Vicky Vance, I guess. Let's go for it. You should consider two things when you choose your priorities. Your team stats and the nature of the feature that you are developing. The lower the stats of your team, the higher priority for a good feature. The nature of the feature that you are developing also plays an important part when choosing priorities. Some features need more priority in technology, some in usability, and some need more aesthetic. So give priority to technology if you think the feature needs a more sophisticated programming skill. Give priority to usability if you think the usability of the feature is critical. And give priority to the aesthetics. So we probably want to focus on aesthetic and usability for a, like a landing page. Let's focus on aesthetic. Eh, I'll make it usable. We'll go with usable right there. Let's take that down. Like, I don't think it needs to be super technological. All right, we're good to go. So we have $3,400 on hand. Our little guy is going to go over there, and she is going to work on our landing page. Hopefully it turns out good. So with our employee list, like, how good is she at stuff? She's very motivated. That's good. She's not good at anything else, but hey. Oh, we can feed. I thought it was our feedback for our website that I was looking at for a second. No, it's just feedback for the game. This is a demo of the game right now. We can only play the first year. For the first four years or something like that. Nice. Okay, a bug free as a pest controller's house. Two thumbs up for your site in a world where websites can be more glitch than glitz. Looks like we did good. Let's release it. Congratulations. You won't get many users by just creating a landing page. Try making other features as well so target users will be attracted to come to your website. And one more thing. Do note that some features will bring more income than others. Always try to help those or develop those kinds of features first. Okay. Congratulations, vacation is unlocked. Vacation will give time to your employee to recharge their energy. To send your employees on vacation, just click the employee and choose vacation on the lower right. Okay. All right, now let's work on our project here. We've got registration, so they can register and log into your site by filling out information like name, email, password, food, thoughts about dubstep, birthmark locations, you know, the casual, not intrusive stuff. All right, let's uh, go for it. It looks like it'll bring in a little bit more income. Might as well. It looks like we leveled up our usability and our aesthetics, so that's good. I don't think we actually leveled up. I think we had that before. So we want it to be very, very usable. I'm going to put it on tons of usability. 
Yeah, like I want it to be super usable. Like I want it to be very, very easy for them to log in and register. Like I want it to be something that they just like do automatically without even thinking about it. And so we'll put some development time into that. Looks like we're on our second month right now. We have one user. Oh, nice. We have company value now. We're worth $20. Apparently the value of a human life, $20, everybody. Just one dub. Why is there a ghost in my mirror right there? I saw that. Ah, uh, 6.8. Buggier than an insect house at the local zoo. When you created the site, did you remove the chunks of code at random just to annoy your viewers? Aw, oh, lame. Guess who? Andrew, how have you been? The last time I saw you, you were at graduation. I'm great. I'm working for Big Company Incorporated now. That's great. Congratulations. What can I do for you? My company needs a system analyst, and I remember you were the best analyst in our class. My company needs a system analyst, so accept the offer? I'm interested. Count me in. Great. Send me your CV. All right. Oh, really? So, like, we're actually, like, fully on into that. Oh, that's the end of the game. So it's going to be like uh, Way of the Samurai, where there's different... Okay. What happens if I continue from right there? Will it go from right before there? Oh, okay. All right, we're going to follow our dream this time. Sorry, man. I just started a startup. Really? It's 3%, but who's counting? You know you're going to work longer hours than most people, right? Not to mention you'll have more responsibility. You suicidal? Don't forget, I have a crappier salary, too. But creating a startup is something that I want to do. I like the freedom and culture that it brings. I see. Best of luck with your startup, then. All right. So we've teleported back in Mega Man style. Can I work on the other feature? Like, what if I want to make this better? Like, can I go back? Because I got a bad score on that, so, like, I want to do it, like, better. Like, I want to make it more awesome. Can I do that? Like, what if I want to modify a feature? Yeah, because we're, like, losing users right now. I guess we'll add a new feature. The text ad is a form of marketing communication that advertisers can use to promote their product. Okay. Let's go for it. We'll choose Vicky for right now. And we'll go with a little bit of extra aesthetic. That looks good. Like, it's an ad, so I assume it needs to have, like, a solid aesthetic. It seems like we're okay at doing certain things. Hopefully, this will generate a few more users because we need to get paid. Like, we are broke as hell right now. Yeah, we're kind of like bleeding users right now. I don't I mean I think that like we messed up on an early feature right there and we need to do better. 8.7, not bad. I'm a bad driver of an old car. I've crashed it four times this month already. Your site by contrast hasn't crashed once. A delight to use. Okay. Now that you have started your own business, you will have to pay the bills. You'll be charged two hundred dollars a month. I see you've created a text ads feature. Great job. Hopefully you'll make some money when users start coming in. You only have a few users coming in, so what you need to do is contract work to pay for the cost of future development. Choose the contract work project when you think you'll complete with a high score. When clients are satisfied with the work, the company's rating goes up. In turn, this will attract better clients. When clients are disappointed, your rating will go down and your team's morale will follow suit. Okay. Let's go ahead and do some contract work. All right, so we've got a minimalist t-shirt design. Design a logo for my brand. Yeah, let's do it. I'm a chemistry teacher in Albuquerque, and right now I'm looking for a new business logo. The primary color should be blue. Sounds good. Let's make sure that the aesthetic is good, and then we'll kind of just bang that out real fast. We'll make a logo real quick. We do need to make some money, though. Like, we're kind of hurting on that front. In order to drive our website forward, we could definitely use some new features. Get back to work. Stop lollygagging. I see you over there reading books. Now is not the time for Game of Thrones. Oh, we got a bad score. Your promise is so progress or aggressively okay that I truly don't have anything good or bad to say about you. I guess we needed to put more into the aesthetic. Team's motivation is decreased because of the failed contract work. I mean, we still got paid, though. Let's max out aesthetic over here. Maybe we'll do better. I mean, it's a t-shirt after all. We'll try 50% aesthetic, and after that, I don't think it needs a lot of technology in order to make a t-shirt. I mean, we could put some LEDs in it and, like, underlight it and stuff like that, but I don't know. 
You have Brian Gosling of brains. It looks like it was photoshopped. A masterpiece of piece of work. All right. I hope that's a good thing. I don't know. So do you need to go on vacation? Motivation's looking a little bad right now. Let's go on vacation. We will go fishing. Sounds good for a week. So our users are still doing their thing. Some people say gum things come to those who bait. Even all you do is stand for hours like an idiot, eventually buying fish from the local market. Fishing is still a great way to spend your day. And so I guess we only got 20-something. I thought it was going to give me 40, so I guess we didn't get 40 right there. Let's do a designer to make a logo and a few icons for a blockchain website. CMS development for a website. Let's do that. That's probably like, what is CMS? I don't know what CMS means. So ideally WordPress using graphics, video testimonials of clients, product, and service info. Okay. We'll make it a little bit more technologically good to go. I have no idea what CMS is, though, so, like, eh, we'll, like, throw it out there. Why is there a cat that lives inside a cardboard box in our house? Wouldn't it be better if we let the kitty out? And, like, let the kitty do its thing? Like, let the kitty exist? We did all right. Hey, working with you has been incredible. Good. Apparently, our reviews went up. Nice. We got paid a little bit of money. I need to get paid more, though. An easy t-shirt design. All right. Let's go with aesthetic. Maybe that'll work out. Maybe that'll be what they're aiming for. Hey, look, my cat has decided to show up. Huzzah! I've got a kitty. I've got a kitty. He's chilling in my lap right now while I'm recording this episode. Oh, I think we done good. I think we done good, y'all. A masterpiece of work. Nice. Apparently, you do need technology for a shirt, but... Hey, we got paid. Let's add a new feature to our website, shall we? The profile page. Visual display of personal data associated with a user. In this page, users can share their name, profile, pick, perfume, preferences, favorite names for a ska band, credit card, social security number, and other basic non-intrusive personal information. Okay. We'll probably just keep it on defaults right now, and we'll kind of see what happens. We have no users at the moment, which is kind of a bummer. I don't know how we convert users into actual, like, money that goes into our bank account, but for right now, it looks like that's not even an option. Bit of a bummer, but I can live with it. New feature. How do we do? 7.8. Okay. It's got more buttons than a shirt factory. I'm currently lost in a sub-sub-sub menu thinking about calling emergency services to get me out. Lame. Can I try again? Like, I'd love to try again if I get a score that I'm not happy with. Like, I'd love to just, like, fiddle with meters until I get, like, a good score and everything that I want. Vicky Vance has asked for a few days off to go fishing. Yeah, that's fine. Go for it. Oh, we're up to 13 users now, though, which is pretty cool. Whoa, look at those stats. Users really started joining the website. You've done a really great job. I never thought you'd make it. What do you mean you never thought I'd make it? Hush, that's not important. The important thing is keeping users you already have. Getting a user to come to join a site is difficult, but persuading them to keep using the service is exponentially more challenging. You need to continue to expand your startup by developing new features. This will ensure that the users stick around. I'd love to see how you grow your startup, but unfortunately, I've got a date with a neighboring assistant. So, I forgot her name. Hmm, Sari or... All right, so get your monthly balance to at least $200. We did that. We've got our motivation back up, which is great. Let's take some contract work real fast. Compile source code for basic C++. A minimalist t-shirt design. Let's go for it. Our t-shirt is going to have no usability. You're not going to know where to put your head, where to put your arm, where to put your torso. No usability whatsoever. But it will be beautiful. It'll be a gorgeous t-shirt. It'll be a t-shirt that everybody wants to wear. They just can't quite figure out how. 8.2? That's not bad. Hey, being an overachiever finally paid off. Congrats. And now hurry. You're going to be late to the Mensa Club. Nice, dude. We got paid like a G for that. Let's add a new feature. We've got add a friend. Yeah, it'd be nice if you could go back and add more hours to this to increase your score. Like, it'd be really, really cool if there's an option to, like, keep working on it and, like, basically dump hours 
you know, equal to whatever the original project was to increase your score to a 10 out of 10 or whatever. Because as I can tell right now, you can't go back and fix a crappy score, which means it's going to affect you, like, forever, maybe. Add a friend. So we can make it so we can, like, a, like a social media site, I guess, if we want to. Let's do it. Uh, we want it to be usable. I think. Sounds good to me. It's probably going to be buggy, but we'll try really, really hard, and hopefully it turns out okay. Is there a way for me to, like, upgrade my skills? I wonder how I upgrade skills. Maybe I go to training or something. Seems possible. Alright. Hopefully we get a good score. 7-7, seven, seven, that's alright. Easier to use than a spoon. Everything in the right place and clearly labeled. A five-year-old should throw a th show a th or a five-year-old could show a three-year-old how to use it. Okay, we all make mistakes, like I did when I chose to become a virtual assistant before it was cool. Now, when it's finally a big deal, people forgot about me. What? You understand what I'm talking about? If you do, it means you're old. Anyways, the point is we all make mistakes. If you made an error when creating a feature, then you can revise it. A lousy feature means higher maintenance costs, or a competitor will develop a better version than you did. So I can revise a feature when it gets a bad score. Gotcha. Oh. Gotcha. Okay, so now we can revise. Well, I think register is the one that's hurting us the most. So let's go back. And I want it to be kind of technologically sound. Let's try that right there. We're going to, like, make registration a little bit easier. Oh, my God. My company's worth $6,000. That's worth so much money. Dude, that's a grip of cash. Sell. Like, the first person that wants to buy, sell. See, this is why I would never go anywhere in life. Because the second I get an offer that's, like, low five figures, I'd be like, I'll take it. It's a little bit better. Like, our usability score is much better than it was before, so... I'll take it. We'll release it. Like, I'll, I'll take that. The sevens I'm happy with. We need to do some contract work. I'm, like, broke right now. Let's go for the t-shirt design. Put it all into aesthetic. Perfect. I gotta get paid. Apparently, this does not convert into any type of real-world value. It's just like, if someone says that our site is worth that much, like, cool, I guess, but, like, that doesn't, like, pay the bills or the rent, I suppose. Oh, we did bad. No, my motivation is decreased. Somebody's gonna have to take a vacation, and I don't want them to take a vacation. Need someone to take our screenshots and make an app store image. Okay. Go for it. Maybe that'll work out. And I guess if it doesn't, then we can live with it or something. Oh, our character wants to kill... Uh-oh, we did really bad. Weak. Apparently it needed a lot more usability. I think this person's going to have to go on vacation. Let's go to the dino park, I guess. Sure, why not go to the dino park? Guys, I think I'm doing a bad job right now. You think I'm doing a bad job? It's hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure I'm doing a bad job at the moment. Alright, well our motivation is slightly better than it was previously. Let's do some more contract work. Design a logo for my brand. Let's go. Let's make this thing aesthetic as all hell. Yep, dump all of your aesthetic skills into this shirt. This is our last dish effort to be a professional. We have to do this. I believe in you. Stop daydreaming about Super Nintendo. That's not helping us make shirts. I daydream about Nintendo all the time. It never helps. I'll take that. Good. Let's get paid, and we'll do more contract work. An HTML developer for a website update. Create modern and colorful banner graphics for a website's homepage. Alright, sounds good. Take these down to, like, 20% apiece. And then we just max that out right there. Good. Go for it. I wonder when I level up and get better at stuff, because I feel like I need more skills right now to, like, pay the bills. You know what I mean? 
Like, I feel like I need to get better at stuff. It looks like we knocked it out of the park, so I'll take it. Let's get paid, and we're going to add a new feature. So we can go with profile page themes right now. All right. I want the aesthetic to be good. We'll go with a balance right there, and we'll kind of see what happens. Hopefully that brings in more people that are interested in the product that we're developing. But I like this, dude. I love these cool little games where, like, they're, like, bare minimum interaction, but at the same time, you still got to think, like, every now and again and, like, try something out. Hopefully our motivation isn't really bad right now. How bad is our motivation? We're not very motivated right now, which is a bummer, but it'll have to do. I think we did bad, everybody. You translated the site content from Sanskrit to Swahili. You could have taken your blindfold off first. So the aesthetic needs to be better. Like, I'm going to release it. Because that brought more people on in. And we're in, like, the five figures now. But we'll do one more contract work. And then after we do the contract work, I'm going to send this person on vacation. So we'll mash out this shirt real fast for like a week and then we'll go to the dino park or something to get the motivation up. I'm kind of wondering if the motivation affects how good your work is too. I think it must. Yeah. I think it does. Let's go on vacation. We'll see if we can get plus 20 from going out to the dino park real quick. All right, so that bumped us up to 65. Yeah, I'm about to take some risks right now with my financial future because keeping motivation up is really, really difficult when you keep, like, occasionally missing, like, the deadlines and stuff that you are. You keep missing it by, like, a small threshold. You still take a fat motivational hit. Got 121 users, so that's good. Hopefully we can max out at 100, and we did. Let's get some contract work, and we'll get our, let's see, web developer needed for a single-page JavaScript. I think we probably want to go like full in on tech on this one. Let's try. Maybe it'll work out. I don't think that for like a web form, you're going to need too much like uh, yeah, exactly. We knocked it out of the park. Good. Perfect. Let's grab another expensive contract where it create modern and colorful graphics. Gotcha. Done. Take that down to 20. Take that down to 20. That's going to have to do for right now. I mean, it's an art project, so I assume, like, it being pretty is probably the best part about it. We're 88% motivation. Man, we lose motivation quick. I'm kind of wondering if it's better to farm out a bunch of cash or, like, what the best way is because, like, motivation goes down with some, some speed. Good. It'd be nice if you got a little motivational boost, like a three or four points from some of the stuff that you work on. I'd like to revise that. Previous score, 5.5. So we definitely need more aesthetic. We'll try again. We'll try again. I want this feature to be good, though. Like, I, I don't want to have to go back and revise, like, the whole site to make it better every single time I release something. With our number of users, chances are if we can just do better this time around. 8.2. Good. Okay. Let's release it. So, that's fine. That got us an extra 400 bucks per user. Let's do... We'll take, yeah, we'll take the HTML development. We'll put a whole bunch into technology over here. And hopefully that'll be good enough. That'll give us enough money to where I can send Vicky back on vacation. And once she gets back, we can develop a new feature to make the site a little bit better. 
This game is called Startup Panic. I hope you guys liked it. My name is Splattercat. I show up indie games on the internet every single day. Sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile so you don't have to. Hopefully you enjoyed this. And we took a little bit of a penalty right there, but you know, is what it is. We'll send her on vacation. If you wanted to get the game, I got the download for you down below. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like on it if you did. Hi, do, and take care, everybody. I'll see you later.